Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this fixed beam. In this beam, we have uniformly distributed load 6 kN per meter and it is acting in the left half span. The total length of the beam is 8 meter. Now we are going to find the fixed end movements MA and MB. For that, we are going to use movement area method. In the movement area method, first we have to draw the mu diagram. To draw that diagram, we have to convert this fixed beam into a simply supported beam. You can see that I have converted the fixed beam into a simply supported beam. Now let us find the vertical reactions in this beam. First, I am going to find the vertical reaction Ra. For that, I am going to take a movement about to B. In this case, I have to follow right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. Ra is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 8. So 8 Ra. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. Then we have to open a bracket. We know that for the UDL we have to take the half distance. So 4 upon 2. Then we have to add the remaining distance. We know that the remaining distance is 4. So plus 4. Finally for RA we have got 18 kN. Now using the rule sigma v is equal to 0. We can find Rb which is 6 kN. Now we have to draw the bending moment diagram for this beam. Here for the simply supported beam I have drawn the bending moment diagram. To find the ordinate in the point C we have to multiply Rb with the distance 4. 6 into 4 we will get 24. Now we have to find the area of this diagram. I have split the diagram into two parts. In the first part we have parabolic shape. So it is difficult to find the area by using formula. So for the first part we have to do integration and find the area. To do the integration we have to make a section in AC. You can see that I have made a section at a distance of x from the point A. Now in this section we have to find the moment. Let us find the moment in the section mxx. Ra is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and a distance by 2. 6 by 2, it is 3. x into x, we will get x square. Now let us find area 1. For that, we have to do integration. Let us apply the moment in the integration. The limit for the integration is 0 to 4. Now let us take a calculator and do the integration. If you do not know how to do integration in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator and for area 1, I have got 80. Now let us find area 1 x1 bar. Here also we have to do the integration. But with the movement, we have to multiply x. This is the only difference. After the calculation for A1 x bar 1, we will get 192. We must know that area 1 x1 bar is about the point A. That means towards the point A. Now let us find area 2. We know that it is a triangle. We know the area formula of a triangle half into BH. Here the breadth is 4 and the height is 24. After the calculation for area 2, we will get 48. 
Now let us find area 2 x bar 2. For this triangle, the centroid lies at the distance of 1 by 3 into B. Here the breadth is 4. So 1 by 3 into 4. But we have to find the centroid distance about the point A. So we have to add the remaining distance. The remaining distance is 4. So we have to add that. Finally, for area 2, x bar 2, we will get 256. Now, let us find the area of mu diagram. For that, we have to add these two areas. When we add, we will get 128. In the similar way, we can find the moment of mu diagram area. For that, we have to add these two values. After adding, we will get 448. Now let us draw the mu dash diagram. We know that on the left half we have uniformly distributed load. On the right half there is no load. So MA will be higher than MB. So we have to make a higher line for MA and a smaller line for MB. Then we can connect. Let us see how to find area and the centroid of this diagram. Let us take a trapezoid having the vertical heights in both of the ends as A and B and having the length of L. The distance of centroid towards the left is L upon 3 into A plus 2B upon A plus B and the area formula is L upon 2 into A plus B. We have just seen the formula to find the centroid. In the formula A is MA B is MB and L is 8. In this way, we have got the centroid. Also, we have seen the area formula L upon 2 into A plus B. We know that L is 8, A is MA and B is MB. 8 upon 2, we will get 4. Now, let us find moment of mu dash diagram area. We have found the area and the centroid. Let us multiply both of them. We can eliminate MA plus MB. 4 into 8, we will get 32. We know that area of mu dash diagram should be equal to area of mu diagram. We have found both of them. Let us apply them. We can take 4 on the other side. 128 upon 4. We will get 32. Let us keep this equation as number 1. We know that moment of mu dash diagram area should be equal to moment of mu diagram area. Let us apply both of them. Let us take 32 upon 3 on the other side. We will get 42. Let us keep this equation as number 2. Now we have two equations. Let us take a calculator and solve these two equations. If you do not know how to solve two equations in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator. For MA, I have got 22 kNm and for MB, I have got 10 kNm. We have found MA and MB. Now let us find the vertical reactions. First, I am going to find RA. For that, let us take a moment about B. In this case, we have to follow right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 8. So 8 RA. The moment MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. Then we have to open a bracket. The UDL is acting for the distance of 4 meter. So 4 upon 2. We are taking moment about to be. So we have to add the remaining distance that is 4. Then we can close the bracket. The moment MB is acting in the clockwise direction. 
so that it will be positive. Finally, for our A, we will get 19.5 kN. Now, let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0 and find RB. RA and RB are acting upwards, so both of them are positive. The UDL is acting downwards, so that it will be negative, and the distance is 4. Finally, for RB, we will get 4.5 kN. Now, we can draw the shear force diagram. I am going to find the shear force values from the point A and towards the point B. In this case, I have to follow right hand side rule. Upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. Using this rule, I have calculated the shear force values. Here you can see the shear force diagram. In this point, the shear force becomes zero. In this point, there will be the maximum positive bending moment. In this point, we can make a section and find the bending moment. In that point, I have made a section at the distance of x from the point A. We know that in this section, the shear force is zero. Using that concept, we can find x. For x, I have got 3.25 meter. Now, let us find the maximum positive bending moment. MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. The vertical reaction VA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3.25. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction so it will be negative. For the UDL, we have to multiply with the distance and a distance by 2. Finally, for the maximum positive bending moment, we agree 9.69 kN meter. Now, let us find the bending moment in the point A. In the point A, we have MA, which is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so that it will be negative. To find the bending moments in the points C and B, we can use left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. Let us find the bending moment in the point B. In the point B, we have MB, which is acting in the clockwise direction, so that it will be negative. Let us find the bending moment in the point C. MB is acting in the clockwise direction, so that it will be negative. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. So 4.5 into 4. Finally, for the bending moment at C, we are getting 8 kN meter. Here you can see the bending moment diagram. In these two points, the bending moment becomes 0. We can make sections in these two points and find the distances. For the left side point, I have made the section at the distance of x from the point A. And for the right side point, I have made the section at a distance of x from the point B. Using the right hand side rule, we can find x which is 1.45 meter. And using the left hand side rule, we can find this x which is 2.22 meter. Let us enter both of them. Alternatively, we can draw the bending moment diagram by combining the mu diagram and mu dash diagram. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.